This year's free application for federal student aid, more commonly known as FAFSA, saw major tweaks to the way students fill out financial aid. However, it's no secret that this has caused major problems for both colleges and their prospective students. I think that the delays are really annoying. When I heard that they were revamping the system that we were probably going to have to do it a little bit later, I was okay with that because they said that it would be a lot easier to add in all your information, but they never said that it was going to be like three months late with the response. For me personally, the financial situation is very important because I really don't want to have to take out student loans or go into any form of debt. It definitely has delayed my commitment. I've narrowed down my choices to around like three schools, but I can't commit because two of those three haven't given me my financial aid offers. Things obviously aren't going as planned for the financial aid process, but what's being done to get us back on track? Well, I think that at this year, the way students are going to be feeling reassured is that they're in communication with the schools that they want to attend. It's very confusing to think about what you can pay and how much college costs and the anxiety around the subject of finance is something that the financial aid office professionals are trained in. So if you look at your financial aid award offer and you say to yourself, this just can't be right. I, I really thought I was going to get more aid. Again, I would highly suggest for you to reach out to maybe the top three schools you're considering. Each school is different in the amount of aid that they offer, but in general, financial aid award offers have not changed significantly. I've been doing this for almost two decades. I have never seen um, so much funding and allocations going to the state to really assist students, not that are just high need, but also those that fall into the middle class category. So I think students should be um, on the lookout if they are in Massachusetts to considering schools in state because the awards are quite robust. If you were waiting to complete the FAFSA until um, all this kind of died down, it's a great time to do that um, because a lot of the problems with rolling something out new, they're, they're fixed already. So if you thought to yourself, oh, I wasn't going to do it, I'm just not going to go to college this year, it's not too late. You should really still consider it. If college is something you want to do and you need financial aid, start working with the college that you're thinking of, complete the FAFSA, and um, I'm pretty sure that you'll be able to still attend getting, you know, getting that, those resources that you need, even though it's a little delayed this year. We'll see what happens with the financial aid process these coming months. But until then, we are stuck waiting. For Code Blue Now, I'm Derek Fox, and back to you in the studio.